Cheeseburger, 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 no fries, chips, no Pepsi, Coke. Hey there, what's up YouTube? I am Jerry and welcome back to the program, The Chicago Griller. If you know where that quote is from, then you're either a lifelong Chicagoan like myself or you're a diehard SNL fan. But if you don't know where that's from, then I'm gonna tell you right now. It's from the Billy Goat Tavern located right here in Chicago, Illinois. And today, I'm gonna to show you how to duplicate their signature dish, the cheeseburger. Not cheeseburger, cheeseburger. Every burger begins with quality beef, and today we are using this ground beef from Niman Ranch. It is 80-20 ground beef purchased from Whole Foods. Now this step is optional, but to be precise, the Billy Goat Cheeseburger is made of two ounce ground beef patties. Here I'm going to roll a small ball of ground beef and weigh it out. I'm going to repeat this several times. The reason these patties are so small is because that way they are stackable into singles, doubles, triples, or four patties, which is known as the home run. Now I'm going to skip ahead a bit and show you how I make these patties. To make a Billy Goat Cheeseburger patty, you take your two ounce ball of ground beef, knead it a little bit, and then you just smash it on some wax paper. Smash it as thin as possible. If you want to round out the patties a little bit, you could grab a beer glass and just put it over the top like so. And oops, there's still a little bit of water in that one, but that's okay. A little moisture never hurt anybody. Now, you just repeat the process and make as many burger patties as you need. Today, I'll be making five total patties. I'm having a triple for myself, and my girlfriend is having a double. While I continue to form these patties, I wanna circle back to a topic I had mentioned before. You wanna use good ground beef here, because the Billy Goat Cheeseburger calls for no seasonings at all. You need to let the taste of the meat shine on its own. Anyways, I'm gonna to continue to make these patties, but let's skip ahead. This next step is also optional, but I'm gonna tear up my wax paper into five equal pieces. See, there's five, five pieces for five patties. I'm just gonna go ahead and take each patty and place them on each sheet of wax paper. And the reason I'm doing this is that it just simply makes it easier to slap. Yeah, that's right, literally slap these onto the grill. Patty number four, and patty number five. Here. And now, let's get to the grill. The Billy Goat Tavern Cheeseburger is made on flat top grill, so we're gonna swap out the grill grates and replace it with the griddle pan. Now remember, the recipe for cheeseburgers calls for no seasoning whatsoever, including olive oil, so you have to season the griddle pan so that it doesn't stick. We're gonna be cooking at a pretty high temperature today, so today I'm using avocado oil, which has a high smoke point. And now I close the lid and get this to a medium high heat. And now that the grill is up to medium high, I'm gonna lay out my Kaiser rolls and toast them first. The reason is those burgers cook so fast, I'm gonna go ahead and take care of the rolls first. Now I don't want these rolls too crispy, so just a minute later, I'm gonna go grab them. Not really sure why I put some on the grates and some on the pan, doesn't really matter. It's toasted all the same. Now I'm gonna bring the grill back up to temperature and be right back. And now we're ready to cook. The Weber Q2000 is now up to a medium high heat and we are going to start slapping these burger patties directly onto the griddle plate. Yeah, my burger slapping spacing skills are suboptimal at best, but let's see if I can get all five on here. There's the fourth one and let's see where I can stick the fifth one. There. All right, let's see if I can space these out a little bit. Ah, eh, whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna shut the lid, and we're gonna cook these for just 90 seconds. And we are back after just a quick 90 seconds. These patties cook really, really fast because of how thin they are. Anyways, I'm gonna give all these a flip. Oops, a little bit of grease fire there. Now, I'm also gonna add some cheese. The traditional cheeseburger only calls for cheese between the patties. So, I'm only gonna use three here because I'm making two burgers. And now I close the lid and cook for 90 more seconds. 90 seconds later, these guys are done, and I'm gonna get these off of this hot griddle pan. Start with the cheese ones first. Oops, almost lost one. 
And now I'll get the last two cheeseless patties off here. And now that I've successfully removed all five patties from this hot pan, I will show you how you stack these cheese burgers. It is the 4th of July weekend here, so I do have some festive plates. Anyways, we start with the bottom bun and gently lay one patty with cheese on that bun. Now, I'm demonstrating a triple here, so I'm gonna lay the next cheese patty directly on top. And now a non-cheese patty to top it off for the triple. Next comes the topping, which is a slice of raw onion. And from here, ketchup and mustard are optional, or you could just top it off with a bun. Now how about some sides? Remember, there are no fries, only chips, and no Pepsi, only Coke. And there you go. That is how you do a Billy Goat Tavern cheeseburger. And now we'll give you another look at this triple cheeseburger before we turn this over to the meat and cheese expert for his very professional review. And that is how I duplicate the cheeseburger right here at home on my Weber Q2000. How do you like your cheeseburgers? Do you like them as singles, as doubles, as triples? Or do you swing for the fences like Sammy Sosa and go for the home run? Let me know how you have your cheeseburgers down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this program, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button and even better if you subscribed. Thank you so much and I look forward to showing you new recipes next time. Take care.